Hello, continuing with the laws of Rosh Hashanah, and we are on Simon Tov Kuf Pe Gimel 583. And we're going to be talking about now the meal that we have on the evening of Rosh Hashanah. Yehei Adam Ragil Laechel Be Rosh Hashanah Urubia Dehainu Tilson. Tilton. There are certain foods that we eat on the night of Rosh Hashanah called the Simonim. Now, the reason we do this is we want to act out. Uh, it used to be that when a prophet had a prophecy back in the day, he would have to act out the prophecy. So, in acting out the prophecy, would have it come to fruition. So, by eating certain foods on the night of Rosh Hashanah, we want to bring the fact that we're going to have a good year into fruition, and we say certain phrases related to those foods. Foods, we'll, and we'll soon see. So, we have rubia, which is Feldheim says it's cow peas, karsi, which is leek. Silka, a type of spinach, tamre, dates, kara, and squash. We have those foods. Ukashiyaichel rubia, when you eat the rubia, which is the cow peas, yomer yihiratzon shiirba zuchiyoseinu. You say, Hashem, may it be your will that our merits increase, because the word yirbu has to do with rubia. Karsi, yikarsu soneinu, when you have the leeks, you say, which is called karsi. You say that yekarsu sonenu that our enemies should be destroyed. Silka the spinach yestalku ivenu that our you say God may it be your will that our that our enemies go away they are removed. Tamre when you eat the dates remember to check the dates for bugs. Yetamu sonenu you say may our those who hate us perish. Kara when you eat the Squash, you say, Yikara gzar dinenu v'yikara lefanecha zechu yoseinu. Hashem, may you tear up your judgment and have before us our... And the Ramah writes, V'yesh noagim la'echel tapuach matuk betvash. We have a custom to have an apple dipped in honey. V'omrim, and we say, Tizchadesh aleinu shona mesuko. That we should have a sweet year. V'chei noagim, and that's the custom. V'yesh ochlim rimonim, there are those that eat... Uh, pomegranates, the omrim narbe zechuyos karimon, that our merits should be like the, should be like a pomegranate, and a pomegranate has all those many seeds. And the custom is, on the night of Rosh Hashanah, to eat fatty meat and all type of sweet foods. Let's see what the Mishnah Brewer has to say. This is all these things that are said in the Shulchan Aruch that you eat what's called rubia. So we say shiyar b'zechiyoseinu because in Hebrew it has the same word that our merits should increase. That is doesn't have to be that. Whatever you have in uh, have in your language, you could do. I remember in my yeshiva in Mivaseret, people came up with very creative uh, creative things. You know, uh, they took ketchup and said, Yehi Ratzon, that we should catch up with our learning. So, whatever it is, you can make your own Yehi Ratzons. Yehi Ratzon, we say, Yehi Ratzon lefanecha, Hashem alokeinu velokeya v'asenu, shi'ar b'zechu yaseinu, because of Eliyarav v'shem shla. Yes, now, again, the exact uh, the exact thing to say is in the machzer, so you don't have to worry about it, and you just do what the machzer says. And uh, the shla writes, Yis or adam etshuva, kashem Yehi Ratzon, vis pala zebelev shalom. He says, when we're saying these phrases, you know, it just shouldn't be like a cute thing that we're, you know, saying these Yehi and eating these foods, but we should have in mind that we're repenting, that we should have more Zechuyos, and we try to be better people, and we should inspire ourselves and have a real His Orus to do repentance, to do Tshuva. Tapuach matok bitvash, we dip an apple in the honey. But tapuach ikr. Oh, so when you make a bracha, when you have two foods, when you make a bracha, you only make a bracha on the ikr, on the main food. So here you have apple and honey, so the main food here is the apple. So you make a ha'etz on the apple. Poter hadvash. Even though you already washed, you still need to make a ha'etz on it. Some people have the custom to dip the chala in honey. So we said, when you dip the apple in the honey, you say that we should have a new, a, a good new year, a sweet new year. Now, very important. Now, 
you have to say this phrase of Yehi Ratzon, that we should have a sweet new year, after you already took a bite of the apple. The reason is, is because when we make a blessing on food, we don't interrupt bet between the blessing and when we eat the food. So the proper procedure is as follows. Dip the apple in the honey. Say, Baruch HaTan Hashem Alekin Melcholam, Borei Priha Eitz. Take a little bite. Swallow the food. Right? You have to swallow it. And then you say, Yehi Ratzon, that we should have a sweet new year, and then take another bite of the apple. But do not say the Hiratzon right after the blessing, because then it is an interruption between the bracha and the eating. Shana Masuka, we should have a sweet new year. People don't eat uh, borscht, which I guess has vinegar in it. People don't eat vinegar on Rosh Hashanah. That's why people don't have uh, the horseradish. Those that have fish as one of the simanim do not cook the fish in vinegar. We do all of this as a good sign. It says it's very important that during these days of the 10 days of repentance, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, not to get angry. Besides of the great prohibition of getting angry, that it should be a good simon. It should be a good sign. We want Rosh Hashanah to be happy, to be enjoyable, and to be a good sign. So if you're getting angry on Rosh Hashanah, that it defeats the purpose. So, you know, if someone's putting it, someone messes up the simanim, he doesn't, uh, you know, put up the right things, the worst thing to do would be to get angry. Rather, someone should be happy, and he should trust in Hashem with his repentance and good deeds. God willing, we will continue. Have a beautiful day.